Hey there, YouTube fans. This is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. I just wanted to take a minute and let you guys know I just released my latest developer class. This is developer level 40. In this class, we spent some time building a countdown timer form. If you got events coming up that you don't want to forget they're coming up, you can put them on the event countdown timer, but that's just the beginning. The real goal for this class is to learn how to change the color scheme using the Windows Color Picker and allow your users to set up their own color schemes on your forms and reports. We'll start off with my free event countdown video. This is a tech help video. I released it a couple days ago. You can go watch this one free of charge. Then in lesson two, this is the extended cut for the members. I show you how to set up static color schemes in your database. So you can set up red, blue, green, whatever. You can program them in using conditional formatting in the form, but the user can't change those. Only you can, the developer in the actual form design itself. But then in lesson three, we'll build a form to set up our own color scheme so the user can define their own foreground background colors for the different schemes in the system. So they're not hard coded into the conditional formatting. The user can pick them at runtime. So each user can set up their own color scheme, like a purple pink color scheme or whatever they want. Then in lesson four, we'll learn how to modify the conditional formatting on each form at runtime. So when the form loads up, it's going to actually read in the color scheme from the table and set the conditional formatting when the form opens. We'll apply those different color schemes right to the form using some VBA. We'll spend some time learning about user-defined types. That's kind of new. I haven't covered that in my VB classes yet. In addition to the color scheme, we'll also learn how to use the Windows font dialog so the user can choose the font that's on each form as well. And then I'll show you how to apply those custom fonts to your reports. So let's decide you want your own sandy beach type scheme here, right? So let's go to colors. These are the color schemes. I'll go to a new record. Let's type in sandy beach, right? We'll pick the text background color. Let's make it like a sandy yellow. Let's go like here, maybe toward the brownish area a little bit like that. There we go. All right, we can add that to the custom colors. Okay. And then maybe for the foreground color, we'll come in here and we'll define custom color too. Let's go with like a, like a brownish color, like right about there. There we go. Add that to custom colors. Okay. Then for the other thing, for the number over here, I'll swap those. Boom. So they're backwards. See that? Or you can do a manual if you want. Okay. And now what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll open up Sandy Beach and we'll set Sandy Beach and close it. And there you go. There's your custom Conditional formatting. See that? Want to change the font? Go to font one. This is font one. This is font two over here. Change it to something else. What do you want to see in there? Let's go with the, uh, I don't know, system. Yeah, there we go. Ah, <laughs> that doesn't look very good at all, does it? Let's go to, uh, oh, Times of Romans, a good old staple. There you go. All right. Or, uh, I don't know. What do you want? Let's see. Do this one. But okay. That looks pretty good. Okay. And that's font two would change this guy over here. So that is Access Developer 40. You can find it on my website. I'll put a link down below that you can click on. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me or post them below in the comments section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.